Him on first and ten. And this time it's Hill. And he kicks a couple, Destiny Fial, among that big Washington State front there for the stop. Hands beside Kaufman on third down. It'll be Hill just getting out of the end zone. Before he gets tackled immediately by Cachet Palacio. Punt from its own end zone. Yeah, just nothing going on here. Kook's defenders all over this play. Nothing that Brian Hill could do. Running back will take the snap. The quarterback, Cam Kaufman, split to the top of your screen. Hill keeping it as a flag flies. Hill running behind the block of his quarterback, Cam Kaufman. And he gets out inside the 40, down to the 36-yard line, but we'll check on this flag. Brian Hill. Well, another misdirection. Tough to defend. Nice job up front by the Cowboys' offensive line. And then Brian Hill does the rest. But you've got to give a lot of credit to head coach Craig Bull. Tight end Hollister in motion across the formation. This is going to be Sean Wick. And he gets wrapped up. Peyton Pallor met him immediately. Well, that was just a great read that time by Pallor, number 47. Watch him reading the, the eyes of the quarterback in the backfield. Makes a great break on the football. This is a guy that just has football in. Mallhard in motion. Now the tight end Hollister as well. Play action. Kaufman moving in the pocket, heaving for Mulhart, and he cannot make the catch. Shalom Luani and Darian Moulton right there in coverage. It was Moulton battling through the air with Mulhart. Well, you cannot deliver a better football than Cameron Kaufman delivered right on the hands of Jake Mulhart. Mahard's going to watch film on that tomorrow, and he's going to kick himself because that was a perfectly thrown football in double coverage against the... Second and ten. Here's Wick trying to get to the edge, and it's Moulton there, the freshman, who Alex Grinch told us, and he's caught on very quickly. Now watch the football right here. When does it pop out? That uh, pops out. That was clearly a fumble, but. Oh. James Price picked it up. Nice heads up play by the. We'll get Brian Hill in the backfield. Gentry at the bottom of the screen. Again, the shovel pass over to Hill in some space. He gets across the 40. He gets right to the first down marker and runs out of bounds to stop the clock with 30 seconds think he was going to be able to get out of bounds. Had a lot of defenders in front of him. But a heads-up play that time by the sophomore. There at the receiver position. Kaufman looking for enough space to wind up. Backpedaling. Heaves for Mallhart. This will be shy of the goal line, but Mallhart makes the catch. There are zeros on the clock, and it'll go as nothing more than a long completion. The reason they were off. So an opportunity here. It's Sean Wicks on first down. And Wicks has got another first down. A flag comes in on the run. Six. That's Hollister, the tight end, who went in motion. And this is Mata Afa, Hercules Mata Afa, stuffing Sean Wicks in the backfield. Sean Wick, a loss of three. Now, if your parents name you Hercules, that's, yeah. I mean, are you destined to be a pro wrestler or a football player? That time. Oh, wait, to your point. <laughs> Hercules? Like, you got to get in the weight room as that goes incomplete. Oh. Van Man in the fullback. Hill the running back, and he gets stopped. Peyton Ballour, the linebacker, knifing through. Play, Jeremy, what did you see here? Well, I like the fact that they went for it, their kicker. They don't have a ton of confidence in it, so even if you don't pick this up, you're kind of in the same position. But I'm not sure I'm crazy about the, the play call. Now on second and 15. And that's going nowhere. And fourth on offense in the first two quarters. Back to the ground for Wick. And he's stacked up. Daryl Paulo and a host of Cougars right there.
Here's Wick. And he gets ripped to the ground by Jeremiah Allison again. He came in, as you said earlier, Jeremy, the leading tackler in the conference. So they bring the fullback, Drew Van Manen in, the tight end, in motion. Kaufman will hand to Hill. He's been the bell cow. Palacio was right there to stop him up. This is going to be very close. Chandler Laniu right there as well. I don't think. Oh wow! I would go for this here. I would. I would have done a quarterback sneak. You got an inch to go to get a first down. Eight minutes against this Appalachian three-four defense. Wyoming would love to establish a running game if they could. Forward progress up to the 25-yard line. That's going to be a five-yard gain. First down for Wyoming at their own 35-yard line. Trailing early at Appalachian 7-0. Little Wildcat look into the secondary and finally dragged down at the 40-yard line. Set six from the Appalachian 36. Hand off to Hill. He'll break it to the outside, slip to tackle, stays on his feet, goes inside the 20-yard line, bumped out of bounds at the 16. Make it the 15-yard line for Appalachian. Nose of the football at the Mountaineer 15. Out of the straight eye. Joshua Tapscott, that's his first carry. Give him long. That was a loss of 10 on the play, second down and 20. Running room off to the left side and back to the 48-yard line. Appeared in area at Appalachian. Third and 13. Kaufman steps up in the pocket and delivers the strike. Pass is caught. No gain. Kaufman shows his willingness and his ability to stand in the pocket and deliver the ball. But against a zone defense on third and long, all he's got is that short cross. Wyoming out of the Mountain West. And Appalachian State out of the Sun Belt. Handoff goes inside to Brian Hill. And Hill will give him forward progress up to the 40-yard line. Very close to a first down. Got a fullback in there on second and less than a yard. Picks up the first down and more. Bumped out of bounds near the 49-yard line of Appalachian. Team. That means blockers will block down and somebody will pull as number 73 does from the other side to create leverage and a numbers advantage. They rely a lot on those gap scheme runs. They've 215 pounds. He's kind of a load to bring down. Great penetration by the app defensive line that time. Just absolutely nowhere to go with that football. Yeah, well, great penetration because Appalachian wasn't going to take it anymore. We can see that the defensive line slants from the wide field into the middle. Of the Second down and 21. Quick hitter to the short side of the field, but absolutely nowhere to go. Latrell Gibbs was right there to shut that down. Well, the trail show right there, he likes to tackle as much as he likes to intercept passes. Smell that one out. It's kind of a predictable play. One of those wide receiver screens. And an interception in a win, a shutout win at Old Dominion last week. Blitz coming. And they pick it up. And here's Gentry's second catch on his drive. It's a play by Cameron Kaufman. And that, that play was really made before the ball was snapped, Dave. They were bringing the inside linebacker and the weak safety on a two-minute. Nothing lead. But as we start the second quarter, Hill takes it into the end zone for a Wyoming touchdown. And the Cowboys are on the board. Wildcat Here once we, again. There we go, Hill in the Wildcat. Not as much success this time. Good defense in there for Appalachian. Ronald Blair. And he can't find the football. And Wyoming is lucky to get that one back. Well, it's a combination of the weather and the ball never really came all the way up. Full complement of timeouts right now. Here goes Hill again. Hill already has over 100 yards in this game, and he takes it down to the 25-yard line. 
point of attack, reading the flow of the defense, breaking to the outside and following his blockers who have pulled from the other side of the formation. And he's very difficult to tackle out there on the edge. So they're looking to get some momentum. Hill spins away and goes down to the 19-yard line. That play looked to be stopped in the backfield, and he turned in what looked to be a sure loss into about a two-yard gain. Well, Bob's was in the backfield. He read it the same way he did previously, but Hill's showing a good look. Used to talk about tailbacks with the dead leg. Dave, we don't hear about that very much. Second down and six. Deep handoff to Hill, and he pushes forward near the 43-yard line, so it'll be third down and three coming up. Coming today, concussion symptoms after being knocked around last week in a loss at home to New Mexico. Tapscott with a huge hole, takes it down near the 23-yard line, so he nearly picks up 10 yards on the carry. A line very expertly between Rolier, the left guard, and Cummings, the left tackle. They've gained a lot of yards over that side. Over on downs. Handoff right up the middle, and that's going to be Brian Hill. Hill breaks it into Appalachian territory. He's still on his feet, takes it all the way down to the 39-yard line. For Cameron Kaufman. Good pass pocket to throw to. Nearly intercepted. Law had the coverage. Wyoming today has been Brian Hill. 25 carries, 190 yards, and a touchdown. And here he goes again, bouncing it to the outside. Dave, that may not be his longest run of the day, but that was one of his more impressive leaving yards, almost 110 per game. Today's only got two catches for 34 yards. Kaufman to throw. Checks down to Tapscott, who stays on his feet, but will be knocked out of bounds, shy of the marker. And 13 games. This is a, a start of four of their next five on the road. Here comes Hill. Picks up a couple of yards. Craig Bull comes out of a winning culture. He played at Nebraska. He coached at Nebraska. First and 10 from the 22-yard line. Kaufman will slide down in the red zone at the 16. 